Hello everybody out there. Uh, this is the title of the day for today. And today it's over um, being weak in the flesh, um, being uh, being overcome by the, I guess, the strength of the flesh and being weak in the spirit and how to overcome that. Okay, how to, um, the, like we're going to see Jesus said that uh, the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak, right? So, so and it's kind of the other way too. The flesh is strong in that sense, and the spirit is weak, right? So uh, we want to see how Jesus said to overcome that, and um, how uh, different ways that we can overcome that. <laughs> okay, if I could get that out right. <laughs> but um, so first, let's look at what Jesus said, Matthew twenty six forty one. And before I read it, uh, you know, this is the garden prayer. And it's where, you know, he, he's upset, he's sweating, you know, he's sweating like blood. And he prays three times to the Father uh, to take the cup away from him. And if there's any other way it can happen, let it happen. But uh, he says, but if your will be done, Father, then let it be done. And so he prays three times. And every time he prays, he goes, he, he stops, he goes and sees what the disciples are doing. They're asleep or they're not praying the way they're supposed to be. And he's like, please pray, you know, that you don't fall into temptation. Okay, so that's what we want to look at. Uh, he says, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Okay, and then he goes and prays again to the Father. So the first thing we have to do, if the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, or the flesh is coming strong on you, you need to pray to the Father. Okay, you need to watch yourself and see what's going on with yourself, and go pray to the Father that He gives you strength and encouragement. Also, you know. He'll send you an angel. That's what he did with Jesus. He sent him an angel to strengthen him, right? So you might, you know, want to pray for strength for the holy angels, you know, with their shields and fiery swords drawn around you to protect you and to help you through that, okay? So that's what he did. He prayed to the Father to have the Holy Ghost overcome the flesh, right? Okay? Uh, we can see that in Galatians 5, uh, 16 through 17. which says this. This I say then, Walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Right. So, how do you overcome that? Okay, you pray to the Father that He gives you strength. Okay, and you read your Bible, okay? Because uh, it'll give you the instructions of what you need to do too, led by the Holy Ghost, right? Um, also, we can see in Romans 7, uh, 23 through 25, which says this. But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. O oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. So you're reading your Holy Bible, the Torah, the law, you know, the, you're reading that, the word, and it's helping you strengthen through that. You see what he's saying? And, I mean, you have Jesus, you you ask him for strength, you know, and you, you pull through that, right? Okay. Um, because not through our strength we can get through it, but through his strength, right? Um, okay, so you see that, the, the, so then with the mind, I myself serve the law of God. So with your mind, you need to take every thought into captivity and think about the word and what the word says to do about it, and then Jesus strengthens you through that. Um, we can also see in Romans 8, 26 through 29, the same type of thing, which says this. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And that's when you are just at the very bottom, you know, you don't even know what to pray. Maybe you're going through mourning, or you're going through a breakup, or you're, you're something bad, sick with your children, or just something terrible is going on. You don't even know what to pray or, or how to get out of it, you know, it could be an addiction or anything. And you're just, you're just, oh, you're just trying to pray, but you don't even know what to pray, but you just make moanings and utterances that 
it. No one knows what they mean. Well, that's the Holy Ghost praying for you. Uh, he's speaking through you. He's these utterances that are coming out, and he he is making intercession for you when you don't even know what to pray. The Holy Ghost is praying for you. Hallelujah! Right? Okay. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Hallelujah. And you got to always remember that. It's always in God's will. It may not be uh, right then if you want it to be taken away. It may not be right then that it gets taken away. Or it may that you have to go through the hardship like Jesus did. It was The wrath of God wasn't taken away from him. He had to go through the hardship that he was fearing. But it all worked out in the end because it was in God's will. Hallelujah. <laughs> And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Amen. To them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Okay, so you see that. Um, that's the strength of Jesus Christ in us. Okay. Uh, praying to the Father is how Jesus got his strength. He tells us to do that like the Lord's Prayer. He showed us how to pray. The Holy Ghost is in, was in him, and he prayed like this, like I'm showing you in Romans. He prayed with the Holy Ghost through his hard time, through uh, you know groans and through words, right? And that was the strength that was in Jesus Christ, the Father, giving everything to the Father, uh, taking all of his strength, in his weaknesses, Jesus, and giving it to the Father, when then the Father strengthened Christ, okay? And in the same ways we do that with Christ. We are weak, he is strong. You see that? So that's how Jesus got his strength, and that's from, uh, uh, yeah, that's how Jesus got his strength, and Jesus himself from the Father, and that's how we should get our strength, from Jesus. You see that? Okay. And we can see that in um, 2 Corinthians 12, 9 through 10, which says this. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Hallelujah. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then am I strong. Right? Jesus was weak, and he was made strong by the Father in the garden. You see that? It's the same way with us. When we are weak, we look to Jesus, he makes us strong. Philippians 4.13, right? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Right? So, okay, well, I hope that helps a little bit. Uh, wake and watch for Yeshua. God is love, and I love God. Amen.